time for our next assignment. And this is one that Ember has asked us to do, but she's not being particularly forthcoming with why. She wants us to get a file for her. So we're going to connect to the network and we're going to try and grab the file. It is file 276, so that file name is going to stay consistent through the whole thing. But the problem is that it is being held by another execution agent in the network, and that execution agent between the test runs jumps between ones. So we can't just say always go across 800 and then 801s until we find him and kill him and take the file from him. He's going to be anywhere. So what we have to do is we actually have to create an execution agent that will traverse the whole network. We want to end up with an agent checking every single one of these for the one that's holding the file. So this is going to be our first introduction to the replicate command, REPL. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. So j building off of that cool, brilliant shortcut that I had found in the previous job, I copy four into T because we're gonna have to make a total of four jumps. One, two, three, four. There's four layers that we're gonna have to do to reach the back row of this tree here. I then put a mark on the start. And what I'm doing is I create, I REPL left. And, you know, I could probably could skip part of this by jumping right to 800 because I know that there isn't going to be a one to the right either way. But what I do is I REPL left. What REPL left says is create another execution agent. It's going to have the exact same registers X and T for me. Uh, and it's going to start its code execution at whatever mark you said. So this is going to start execution uh, at mark left. And then I'm telling myself to jump to right. So what this will end up doing is XA is going to be executing from the right mark and XA0 is going to be executing from the left mark. And the difference between them is that one's going to try and link to 800 and the other is going to try and link to 801. And you can see that that should help us reach everything in the tree because all we have are links to either 800 for the left or 801 for the right. Uh, XA is going to actually going to end up uh, dying here because there is no 801 link in the beginning, but that's fine because XA0 has made a jump and is now subtracted one from T because we're making a total of four jumps and then it's going to jump back up to the start. Now we're going to create another one that's going to go left. The new one is going to try and go left. This one's going to try and go right. And they both succeed in doing so. They both have an idea of what T is because the registers get copied. They both decrement it. They're now only have two jumps left to do. They're both going to go back and now both of them are going to replicate. Now we're going to have another one. So we're going to have this one's going left. This one's going right. This one's going left. This one's going right. And now we have four of them, one in each. We have to do this one more time. So T is now one, we replicate, we jump into all of them, and all of them now have T set to zero. Now we know we have reached the end. They are now all going to execute a kill command. All of them are gonna try and kill an execution agent that's in the same network as them. So they do that. One of them succeeded, but at the moment, none of them know. When you execute a kill command, there's no feedback to say whether it's correct. So now all of them are going to try and pick up file 276. This is where the, the brilliant, well, not the brilliant, but this is where the intelligent part of the design is. Uh, XA0 sees that there is a file 276 and is going to try and take it. The other ones are all going to be like, I don't know what file you're talking about. That's going to cause an exception in their programming, and they're all going to remove themselves from the situation because they've had an error. But the one that found it is going to grab it, and it's going to link minus one to make the four jumps back home and drop the file off. And that's how it works. So we end up spidering out through the tree over and over again, finding the execution agent that has the file and taking it for ourselves. This is an, uh, an introduction to the replicate, which is going to be very important for solutions later on. And it's also another way of learning how to use exceptions to your, to your advantage, knowing that trying to grab the file when it's not there will mean that execution agent is gone and you don't need to worry about cleaning it up afterward for the leave no trace objective. So we'll just fast forward the rest of that. We got the file, did pretty all right on our stats and Ember will be happy with whatever information she just managed to, to get us to steal for her.